Welcome to the R video tutorial on multiple linear regression in R, dichotomous categorical variable. In the last video, we talked about the mathematics of what we're going to try to do here so that it makes sense when we try to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read in a data set that is called realestate.csv, and it's available on the repository linked in the description below. Now, uh, I'm going to read this in, and as you're quickly going to see, it's going to blow up. Okay, so just as a warning ahead of time, um, notice there's a problem with reading it in. If you look at the actual data set, it doesn't particularly like it because it's actually not a CSV file. Okay, so if we take this and we put in separator equals backslash T, it's actually tab delimited, and we run this, now it reads it in and run here. And the reason I put that out there is because sometimes I like to give people an idea of exactly what is going on and what they need to do in order to read in data. Sometimes things come to you in a certain format. Maybe it's not really in that format. So this is an example of it. All right. So here we go. So we have some data that's about the value of a house and how much insurance they have to put on that house for various cities. So I have Richmond, Toronto, San Diego, Toronto, Richmond, Cincinnati. Here's the home value. Here's the insurance price per year on the home to insure it. All right. So what we're looking at is the relationship between these two. But notice that all of these are a bit different. So we need to look at the picture of this. Uh, to really get an understanding of what the data looks like. So we're going to particularly be interested in the, the type of housing, but first we're just going to look at it all. So let's first uh, plot the data. Okay. And I'm going to put in here plot uh, RE1 dollar sign. I'm interested in the value predicting the insurance rate. And... Uh, I'm just going to leave it like this right now, run the picture, see what it looks like. And if you notice, you can see that there's these separate lines that just lie down here in this data set. So what we want to do is notice there's also some separation here, but uh, because some of the cities are more expensive than the other cities. But what we're really looking for is, you know, look at these patterns and we want to fit one regression model to it so we can actually see what's going on in our data. All right, so we're going to fit a multiple linear regression model, just like we talked about in the last video. Uh, put here linear regression model. I'm going to call it mod one. I'm going to use LM function. Uh, remember that we're interested in insurance rate as a function of, if I can hit the right Symbol as a function of value, um, and we're interested in type, okay? That's the type of house, okay? Whether it was a house or a condo. Uh, so here our data is RE1, and we're going to get a summary on mod one as well. So let's look and see what this does. Okay, so it has a really high R squared, by the way, and that shouldn't be much of a guess. If you look at this data, it's, it's fairly linear uh, because they're all about the same rating on their uh, scores for you know various items. All right, so we get this output. So we have value. So here is the coefficient for value. And notice it's going directly against the value. So it's, you know, 0 0.007 uh, of the house. So about, you know, seven tenths of a percent is what they're paying in terms of insurance. Now, here, this is for that extra coefficient on this indicator variable. R made the indicator variable. I did not define it, if you notice that. In the previous video, we assigned ones and zeros, and this is really where you have to pay attention. Notice it says type, and then it says house. So this is the shift in the intercept of having a house over a condo. Notice nowhere in the model does it say condo. Condo is the sort of default one. It's our default city, or I mean our default house type. So here you can see this is to the uh, zero two. So it's about a $466 difference or increase in insurance rate 
just because you have a house versus a condo. Okay, that's how you can interpret this. This is a shift in the intercept or a shift in the cost of the insurance just based off of the type. And this is the shift associated with a house over a condo. Now, if we wanted to fit two lines with different slopes, this is pretty easy to do as well. I'm going to here move this over. I'm going to put this down here at the moment because I'm going to add another term on. So I'm going to do plus value times type. Okay, so what this is going to do is it's going to add that extra interaction term that will allow our slopes to differ as well as our intercepts. All right, so let's run this, and I'm going to change this to mod 2 so that we don't lose mod 1 when we do this, just in case we want to go back and look at it. All right, so give this a go. Now we have 0.9988. Okay, so this is really good in terms of adjusted R squared. And here we're going to get more information. So here is our intercept up here. Uh, this is the effective value. Notice it's slightly different, a little bit less. Not much, but just a tiny bit less. And then it says, look, type of house affects it. But it only, it, since this is e to the 0, 0, uh, it's 10 to the 0, which is just 1, it, minus $6.00. Uh, on the value, but it's not statistically significant. But what is significant is the slopes. This is the shift in slope of a house over a condo, okay? So this is that shift in there, this beta, I think in the previous video was beta four, is the shift in the slope. And notice that there is significant, okay? There's a significant increase in the slope just because you have a house versus a condo. So the rate, you can think about that, the rate you're paying for insurance is higher than if you're not having a house, if you're just having a condo. And remember, this always refers back to the condo. And that's assuming that the value and everything stays the same. This is These are on average what we would expect. All right, so now that we understand what these mean, we can move on to the next video where we're going to talk about more than two categories. So here we have two categories, just condo and house. We're gonna use the same data set, but we're gonna jump back at it and we're gonna look at the city that it's in and see how the city that it's in affects the uh, insurance rate and how, how much things cost. All right, so uh, we'll do that in the next video. See you there.